Money. You know, the love of money is the root of all evil. Oh, yeah. You cannot love God and mammon. You cannot serve God and serve money at the same time. You know, an idol could be the television set. You know, an idol could be, uh, it could be anything that keeps you from God. And only you know what that, what that idol might be. There's probably somebody in this building today that has an idol in their life. And it's about time that we get serious with God. Yes, amen. Because God doesn't play games. This is serious business. Amen. This is eternal business. There is coming a judgment day for all those who are saved. It's called the judgment seat of Christ. Yes, right. And we're all going to stand before Him and we're going to give an account of the things done in this body. Whether they be good or whether they be bad. God knows the intentions of your heart. God knows what you're thinking. You might be able to fool people, but you cannot fool God. Jesus is coming back. Amen. Let me pause and say something to the preachers in this room. To the preachers that are in this building. We have one mandate from heaven. And it's simple. Preach the word. Amen. Preach it, brother. Preach it with all you got. Preach it as if you don't have another day to live. Preach the true gospel. Preach the Bible. Amen. Not another gospel. Amen. Preach the only way to heaven is Jesus Christ. Yes. He is the only way to heaven. Amen. If you're not preaching the true gospel, then the Bible says in the Galatians 1 9 that you are accursed if you're not preaching the true gospel. Preach the word. Yes. Finally, we have a beautiful place to look forward to. A beautiful place. It's called heaven. And in Revelation chapter 21. Amen. And I'm looking forward to this homecoming. I'm looking forward to this homecoming in glory Amen. that will never end. Amen. It says this in, verse, in chapter 21 and verse <clears throat> 1. And it says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And listen to this. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall be there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. Amen. Amen. Heaven is going to be a glorious place. Amen. A place where if you know Jesus, we're going to go one. And we're going to leave this, body, this corruptible body behind. <laughs> and we're going to enter into a place where there's no more weeping. There's no more sorrow. There's no more broken hearts. That's right. Amen. There's no more crying. No more death. Oh, it'll be, it'll be wonderful. It'll be awesome. So in closing, Jesus Christ is getting ready to come back. Yes, he is. Yes. 
<coughs> an event known as a rapture. Saints, lift up your heads, for yes. redemption yeah. draweth nigh. So with every head bowed and every eye closed, now comes to the most important part of the service.